just before or after. In 2002, I got the opportunity to uh, create a work for the workshop of Dutch National Ballet. I was still a dancer at the time, and I decided to make a duet because I wanted to investigate partnering work. And as a female choreographer, I can't lift women, so it was interesting to know how can I have a voice uh, without being able to show it. This piece is full of drags and lifts and swings and swivel. And <laughs> for classical dancers, that's kind of a challenge because they're not used to be upside down and, and you know swung by the foot. But I think that they enjoy that challenge of a new language, and I enjoy every time tweaking and changing it and seeing it grow to what it is in 2014. So I thought, well, it's going to be the wet. Let's do it about a relationship. Hence the title, before after. What happens? right before the relationship fails. I knew that I wanted to start the piece with black costumes and the more the piece evolves, the more you see colors. So they take one shirt off and you see the true colors of someone, but still it's you know a facade. And then they go more vulnerable at the very end and when they really see each other the way they are, they decide that maybe they're not meant for each other and they have to go their own way again. I hope that the audience can uh, relate to that, that they recognize it in life, that this is what happens and there's nothing sad about it. So although there's no happy ever after story, it is consoling and soothing to know that it's not the end of life, it's just, it's actually a new beginning.